Hey everyone, we're here today checking out a new AI video model that's come out from Halio. And I'm gonna show you an example of a cool video that somebody made with this model. It kind of shows you what it's good at, what may, what's possible. I'm gonna walk you through ChatGPT and how to build a really good prompt and script for an AI video. Then we're gonna go to the tool and see how good it is at actually generating a video from that script. And that's gonna be the show. We're gonna talk about how you might be using this new model and these types of videos in your business and in your marketing. Let's get into today's show. All right, hey everyone. We got another AI video show for you today. And we, we're talking all about AI video and partially just because I've been captivated. And I mean captivated by AI video recently because people are making really fun and creative stuff. And without a doubt, my number one is the Cat Olympics. Uh, if you've if not seen this yet, this is an AI generated video of different types of cats doing Olympic dives. And I honestly, I just can't get enough of it. The balancing, the approach into the water. I like this backwards one. It's so good. And I think it shows off that like, wow, that's a hard thing to just generate with AI to get the physics and everything of that to actually work. There's an audience in the background. It's pretty funny. And so a gentleman named Pablo created this, Pablo Prompt. I'm sure his name's not Pablo, but that's what I got, Pablo. So there you go. And he, he made this, and it's gotten like a million and a half views. And he made it thanks to a new model from Halo AI called the Halo O2. And anytime there's a new model, I like to like share it with you, put it through the paces, kind of like just see what's happening here, right? And so that's so that's what exactly what I did. And I was like, what am I going to do here? And typically my AI video tests, and just just reminder, most AI video right now is just like, it's good at creating a decent clip that you could maybe stitch a few of them together and, and maybe have a video. And I think that's what happened in this cat video, but I'm going to show you why I think in, a, in a second. But you still need a good prompt. And the better the prompt, the better the output you're going to get. So when I do these experiments, I tend to always have, have the prompt written in chat GPT and then take that prompt into whichever video tool that I want to use at the time. And so I want to go over to chat GPT and show you where we started. Where I started is like, hey, I just want a 15 second ad spot for HubSpot's customer agent product. It's the thing I use. Uh, if you haven't used HubSpot customer agent, you should go check it out. Every business should be using it. And I have it do some type of video or ad related to it. And it's like, can you make a, a 50 sec 15 second ad spot as if it was directed by James Cameron, detailed outline, visual direction, setting, characters, the works. And I will tell you, O3 is got, getting very good at these types of outlines and directions. So gave this very detailed outline. Unfortunately, I've yet to find a video tool that can handle this type of outline and put together essentially different types of prompts together into one video. Uh, I think I could go through and do a lot of this like clip by clip and edit that together. And that's probably another show in the future. But what I wanted to do is just give you a quick hit show today of like, if you have this, uh, you have something that you want to communicate and you can get a real detailed outline just like this and you put it in a modern AI video tool, what do you get today? Because that's just, this is like the real practical brass tacks of all this. So. I copied this verbatim and I went over and this is Halio. It is one of the many video AI models that are out right now. And you're hearing lots of, of things about video and you can see there are some certain kind of styles and aesthetics to these videos. They're pretty cool. The quality is pretty cool. And so what you need to do is you can go down to video and you can then add an image and it'll turn that image into video. You can have a subject reference and you can like reference a character or create a character or you could do what i did which was text to video which is put in that text-based prompt from chat gpt one of the problems i have had is that the context windows the amount the size of the prompt you can put in to create these videos is very small so far one of the things i want to give props to halio for is it has had one of the longer video context windows that I have found. I was able to put a full prompt 
that whole prompt from ChatGPT for the 15 second spot in here. It did reach the max. This is what I'm showing you here. That prompt is the max that you can put in. This is the level of detail you can get. And so now, what did it actually do? Because I thought it was a decent prompt. What would you actually get for that prompt? This is what you get. You get a pan in, a futuristic software. You, you get a pan in, nice swivel on a steady cam. You get a shipping delay. You get this underwater creature. You get the beginning of what looks like a orange HubSpot stingray or manta ray coming to save the day after this shipping delay issue. But then, and then your clip ends. The challenge with all of these tools is that they're really good at like six to eight second clips. And that's why that cat video and the cat Olympics work so well. Because each video of the cat on the diving board is like a six to eight second per clip. And that guy had to go and cut them together, right? Where AI video is at today is that you really have to have video editing skills. If you have a cool script and you can break it down into like two to eight second chunks and you can go and have consistent prompting, you can get pretty good video output, but you're going to have to connect them together and edit them together, make the transitions, add in the any after effects and animation that you want to have happen. So what's the good of it right now is that you can save a bunch of money because you don't have to go do an expensive video shoot. That saves you a lot of time and money. But it's not good enough yet that if you are a non-technical video person that you can go in and just say, hey, this is the ad I want to try today. And it's going to spin up that video. That video within one or a couple tries is going to be pretty good and be something you could go run on YouTube or Instagram or one of the online video sites, right? And so that's where we are today. The video quality has gotten way better. If you've got some know-how, I think you can make some good AI videos but it's not ready to just go and make a quick ad. And I think it will get there. And I think in the next, hopefully 12 to 24 months, we will be there. But right now, what you've done is empowered people with video skills to be much more efficient and be able to be much more creative, just like that cat video that we saw. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. I hope this is a new tool. If you've used this tool, uh, are you using it for the first time? I'd love to see any videos anybody makes. Link those down below. Would love to check them out. And hopefully on a, on a future show, we'll actually take some of these models and do like a big compare or we'll actually stitch some of them together and see what the best AI generated kind of ad that you can create today, what that's going to look like. Let's talk AI strategy because having the tools is one thing, but knowing how to use them together, that's the game changer. The top players have nailed this, and we've mapped it out for you in a no-fluff guide featuring 40-plus AI tools and structured a process to build your own AI toolkit. Grab the guide and transform how you use AI. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to today's show. So if, if it was me and I was out there and I was like, hey, I want to do more videos, whether they be trying to make viral videos, video ads, whatever, and I want to do those with AI, what I would do is I would get really good and I'd probably make a custom GPT in chat GPT at generating really great scripts for like six second video clips. And then I would use those scripts in something like Helio, something like Google's VO3 to generate the actual video clips. And then I would use an Adobe product or one of the many video editing products to go out there and clip those things together. And that's how you're gonna have to edit and make that work today. You can do it much faster, much cheaper than you can with traditional video shoots, but it's still gonna require some time, some work, some, some legwork to really get it right. So that is the show today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you real soon on Marketing Instagram. This data is wrong every freaking time. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform where everything is fully integrated. Whoa, I can see the client's whole history. Calls, support tickets, emails, and here's a task from three days ago I totally missed. HubSpot. Grow better.